as ships of explorers and traders began arriving, entering this very large protected harbor, teeming with aquatic life. What immediately caught their attention was an island in the middle of the harbor, this island, and particularly the open space at the southern tip of the island, right where we're standing today. This is where Juan Rodriguez arrived on one of those Dutch ships that traveled between the Caribbean and North America and Europe. Unlike all the others, Juan Rodriguez stayed here, built a hut for himself, traded with the Native Americans, made use of his impressive language skills as an intermediary between the Europeans and North Americans. He of both African and Caribbean heritage, our city's very first immigrant. My name is Cesar Vargas. I'm the legal counsel at the Mayor's Office of Immigrant Affairs. I'm also a proud immigrant working here in the city of New York, the city of immigrants. Uh, to get us started, community partner, the Bowling Green Association, who has been working with us to, to raise flags and to celebrate the immigrant community. And today we're partnering up with the Bowling Green Association, Arthur Piccolo, the historic naming of the, of the Immigrant Heritage Plaza. So, Arthur, go for it. There is no better or more fitting place in all of New York City to officially and permanently honor all New York City immigrants with the naming of the South Plaza at Bowling Green, Immigrant Heritage Plaza. Special thanks to Mayor Adams, most of all, and to Commissioner Manuel Castro and his Office of Immigrant Affairs and senior staff, Cesar Vargas and Shana Curiel, Cooney's Dominican Institute and its director, Dr. Ramona Hernandez, and of course, the New York City Parks Department. With that, it's my great pleasure to introduce Commissioner Manuel Castro. We are here to celebrate the naming of Immigrant Heritage Plaza to serve as a reminder to the countless contributions of immigrants to our city in their history uh, and throughout the history. This plaza will, cont will be located in one of the most important and historic locations, not just in New York City, but in the country. And it will serve as a reminder and inspirations for future generations of immigrants and New Yorkers. It will serve to the nearly 40% of Americans across the country who can trace their immigrant heritage to New York City and to the millions of immigrants who live in New York City as a place where we can gather like we are here today to celebrate our immigrant experience. As Arthur mentioned, New York City has always been a city of immigrants. From the earliest immigrants in New Amsterdam to the Irish and German immigrants of the 19th century, to the Caribbean, Latin American, and other immigrants of the 20th century, immigrants have always been at the heart of New York City. Today, we want to specially honor the legacy of Juan Rodriguez born in Santo Domingo, now the Dominican Republic, and the first recorded immigrant inhabitant in New York City. His arrival in New Amsterdam and his role in those early years of the city's foundation are a testament to the enduring spirit of immigrants everywhere. I'd like to thank the Bowling Green Association, President Arthur Piccolo, uh, and all the members of the association who are here to us for their great partnership in making this uh, day possible. A huge thanks to Mayor Eric Adams. I want to, of course, uh, thank uh, Deputy Mayor of Operations, Mira Joshi and her amazing team for supporting this effort, and thank our amazing sister agencies who helped get this process across the finish line. Many of the commissioners are here today. I want to thank Commissioner Idani Rodriguez and his team at the Department of Transportation and the New York City Department of Parks for their role in making sure that we are uh, celebrating Immigrant Heritage Plaza. I also want to especially thank Commissioner Melmustine, who is here from International Affairs. I want to thank Commissioner Kreisman from Community Affairs Unit. 
Commissioner Mayuga from the Department of Consumer Affairs and Worker Protection. A community, a, uh, Commissioner of the Department of Culture Affairs, Commissioner Cuombo. I want to uh, shout out and thank the members, the staff, and uh, everyone who contributed at the Mayor's Office of Immigrant Affairs, Cesar, Shaina, Angel, for all their hard work. And up next, I'd like to introduce Commissioner Melmostein of the Mayor's Office of International Affairs. Thank you, Commissioner Castro. So I'd like to uh, thank all the other commissioners that are with us today. I would like to thank our fellow immigrants that are with us today and all New Yorkers that are with us today. My team and I are proud to be with you this afternoon to celebrate the historic name Immigrant Heritage Plaza. New York City has a vibrant immigrant community which makes invaluable contributions to the city's culture and economy. Immigrants make up, I think it's over 50% is what we discussed in our office. In a population of over 8.6 million, I, I would say that's bigger than most cities around the world. And up next, I'd like to invite Commissioner Ferg Kreisman of the uh, uh, Community Affairs Unit. It's an honor and privilege to be here to celebrate. I want to, of course, thank Arthur Piccolo, the head of the Bowling Green Association, for his dedicated service and work to commemorate and keep the history alive of this location and continue its growth. Thank Commissioner Castro and the, all the other commissioners, Commissioner Mermelstein, Commissioner Mayuga, Commissioner Cumbo, for being here today and stand, standing solidar solidarity with the, celebrating the heritage uh, the, of every group that represents New York City. This is such a diverse city. And we say we, uh, this mayor has truly broken the mold with celebrations here in Bowling Green. And to commemorate this plaza is another way of showing his dedication to the immigrant community and ensuring it thrives in New York City. Uh, it's an honor and privilege to be here and standing with these commissioners and celebrating the heritage of all communities through the five bars of New York City and through the nation that are well represented here only in New York City. Thank you. I would like to introduce Lori Campbell, Commissioner of Cultural Affairs. That's exactly what this plaza represents. An opportunity for us all to gather, to be with one another, to celebrate our cultural differences, and to break out of the molds of assimilation. It's so thought that when you come to this country with so many generations, that you would have to assimilate to American culture. But it's so important that we celebrate who we are, our diversity, our perspectives, what we bring to this country is really an asset. And when we recognize the true beauty of all that we bring, our talent, creativity, history, different ways of looking at the world, then we really have the greatest New York City that we can possibly be. So thank you so much, Commissioner Castro, for inviting me to be a part of this. I thank all of the students for sharing their talent. And this is what it is about. We didn't want to just be here as adults cutting a ribbon or doing an unveiling. We wanted to anchor this in the experience of our young people. And so they and their children and children's children will always be able to come here and know that they were part of the history and the groundbreaking of this incredible plaza. So thank you all so very much. And up next, I'd like to invite Commissioner Mayuga from the Department of Consumer Affairs and Worker Protection. Thank you so much. It's so wonderful to be here. I'm Vilda Veramayuga, Commissioner of the New York City Department of Consumer and Worker Protection. I was born and raised in Puerto Rico, married a Filipino. My kids are Filo Ricans. And so we are really excited to be in New York City raising our children in such a welcoming space, right? When you look and you read the news and you're just like, wow, I'm really fortunate and blessed to live in New York City. And it's incredibly special to be here today for the renaming of this plaza. I want to introduce a incredible high school and incredible borough being represented here. Uh, I want to introduce uh, Principal Kujini uh, from Wagner High School. I want to tell everyone here, Staten Island is representing, Staten Island has talent. A big round of applause to all my Staten Island people, yeah. Staten Island students. Bobby DG from, from Canvas. We want to show that there's incredible immigrant talent across the city of New York. Principal Cugini. 
Now, on behalf of the entire Susan Wagner community, I am honored that you have asked for our students to participate in the naming of Immigrant Heritage Plaza. Thank you to Mayor Adams, to the Office of Com uh, the Commissioner of Cultural Affairs, uh, Commissioner Cumbo. Thank you for taking in the incredible performances of our students a few weeks ago. And of course, the Office of Immigrant Affairs for having us here and inviting us to perform today. What is now a 410-year journey that created the greatest city on earth, the capital of the world, began right here in 1613 with the arrival of Dominican Juan Rodriguez.